Hey, what's going on everybody? I am John from JFM Development, and this is how you use an e-liquid calculator. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so this is how you use the e-juice calculator. This is the app right here, the e-juice calculator. You can get it in the Google Play Store. There are also tons of other ones, so I'm just going to show you real quick. So you just type in e-liquid calculator, and then there are a whole bunch that come up. The one that I'm going to be using is a paid app. It costs a dollar, but there are free ones in the app store that you can check out that might work for you. Um, I just really like the features in this one, and I like the material design. It's like really polished looking. It looks very nice, so that's why I picked this one. But, uh, even if I show you using this app that I'm using today, you'll still be able to get the gist of it and how to use pretty much any e-liquid calculator you need to use. So I'm going to go into the e-juice calculator now. Now, there are very important things when you're getting started with the e-liquid calculator, because a lot of it is going to be set up into defaults, like your default milliliter size, which you can always change on the fly or the nicotine strength. Also, you're going to need to input uh, your nicotine. Like, say you have pure VG Nick that is 100 milligrams. Well, you need to input that information into the calculator so it knows how to do its calculations correctly. Um, same thing, you can also put your default PG VG ratio as well. So, let's first go into how you set it up. So, you're going to want it to go into that sidebar like it just did. It's the three lines up in the top left corner. You click that. And then you go into the settings right here. Now, the first thing you should also do is, see where it says keep screen on? You're going to want to click that. So when you're inside the app looking at your recipe, it's going to keep your screen on while you're mixing. So just in case you get something on your fingers, you don't have to keep touching your screen if it shuts off automatically. So very awesome feature. Now the theme, if you notice, mine is green. I changed it right when I get it. I think it comes in like a teal color or something like that when you download it. I forget. But you can pretty much change from a whole series of colors right here. Alright, so now uh, that I described all that, now the next thing you want to do is go into the nicotine base. And you're going to want to set your settings. Um... You're gonna want to set the uh yeah. you're gonna want to set the drops per milliliter, the PG ratio, the VG ratio, and the nicotine strength. I don't do it by drops, although Vape Wild, if you're using Vape Wild materials, they have a chart which it tells you how many drops uh, you can input that in there. But I'm not using drops, so it doesn't really matter for me. But the main important thing you need to do here is see where it says PG ratio. You click that, and if you have the uh, 100 milligram VG, you're going to put 0 for the PG ratio, and then it's going to automatically calculate the VG ratio. Hope you get what I'm saying. Now, say you have uh, the 6535. What you would do here is you would do 35. I don't know why I did it. Okay, see, now you do a 35, and it will automatically calculate that VG ratio is 65 and then you put whatever nicotine strength you have so you have the 6 milligram the 12 milligram you put it in the nicotine strength and I'm going to change that back because that's not what I have okay so now I'm going to just hit update now the nicotine is all set you don't have to worry about that now go into recipe defaults now default quantity is the milliliters so, if you do a lot of 30 milliliter bottles, type in 30 mil. If you do a lot of 10 mil bottles, type in 10 mil. But, don't worry if you set something up here, you can always change it on a per recipe basis when you're entering in all your flavors and all that. So, don't pay too much attention to that. It's not a big deal. Uh, it just makes things kind of easier and faster when you're trying to make up a new recipe. Uh, next, you need to do the, see, so kind of like with the nicotine, same thing, final PG. You put in the PG and it automatically calcula calculates the VG. So, 
uh, I like 70-30 blends, so I do 30, and it automatically does that. Now, if I like 80-20 blends, I do 20% PG, and then it'll automatically do 80 for the BG. But again, I'm going to switch that back, because that's what I do. Again, you can always change that on the fly. If you want to change up the blends, you don't have to worry about that. Now, the last important thing to do here is set your nicotine strength. So, say you like 6 milligrams do six. So you like three, do three. Make sure you put it because that way it'll calculate, it'll look at the nicotine level, the base that you have, and it will make its calculations. So now I'm going to do update. So now if you notice in the top right hand corner it says base nicotine 100 for 100 milligrams. Uh, it also says drops per milliliter 20. I didn't change that. I believe I know the flavor bottles are 40. I'm not sure about the Nick, but there is a chart on Vape Wild DIY site. They have a chart saying how many drops for the nicotine, but I have never done drops. I don't really like drops. It's the most inaccurate way. But next thing is uh, base PG VG. All right. So now, if you look all the way down here, there's your uh, final mix ratio. Uh, 30 PG, 70 VG, so that's down there. Now, if you want to change that on the fly, you can. So, say you want to do 80 20, you just do it like that, and you can change it for this specific recipe alone. But doing the defaults just makes things a little bit easier. Now, if you want to make like tester batches or something that doesn't have nicotine, all you have to do is click this button, and it will take out the nicotine from your mix, and then it won't calculate it, so you don't have to worry about. Also, when you're making a new recipe, after you have this all filled out and you're coming back into the app, you just click that new recipe button up top right there. Now, let's make a mock recipe. So, uh, I'm going to call this, let's just say, uh, let's do uh, orange creamsicle. Okay, this recipe might make no sense, but I'm just showing you how to use the calculator. Okay. Now, see how it says quantity milliliters? That's your bottle size. And see how it says 30? That's because we did the default. Now, say I want this time to do just a 10 mil. I can do that. Now, I did that for the recipe. Also, for the nicotine strength, say 6 milligrams. Okay. Now, let's talk about the flavors. This is how you put in the flavors. But before we get to that, there's one more thing that I want you to do. You go into the side menu right here. You go and you hit that flavor list button, and then you hit this three dot on the top right, and then you hit input import flavor list. Just do that, and then it just say go for it. And what it will do is it will add uh, a whole bunch of just like default names and all that, just so like when you're typing things out, it will it'll like automatically pop up, and then that way you don't have to keep typing in. The whole thing every time you can just quickly select it which I'm going to show you now now you can also uh, name specific vape wild flavors into that recipe list you just have to add it manually so now let's do orange for for a flavor see how it says orange orange creamsicle blah 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 but I'm gonna do a few so let's just say it's an orange obviously the vape wild one is natural orange but in this case it doesn't really matter Okay, so orange, say we're going to do that at 10%, okay? And now say Bavarian cream. See how I started writing it and it automatically came up? Bavarian cream, 5%. And let's just say sweetener. And now I'm going to do that at 2%. Obviously, this isn't a real recipe I am just showing you, so it's probably not something I would actually make. But now you have all you have all your flavors listed like I just showed you and now you have the percentages. Obviously the percentages are going to change based on whatever percent you want to put in there. And now just make sure real quick that your uh, final mix ratio is correct. And once everything is entered in, you press calculator. Ah, sorry, calculate. There we go. All right. Now you got the ingredients for your recipe all broken down into weight into volume and in drops it also gives you the percentages on the right so say your nicotine base to reach six 
milligrams in a 10 mil bottle, you need 0.6 mils of nicotine to get that ratio. Or you're going to need 0.741 grams or 12 drops. That's based on 20 drops per mil. So that's why I want to stress you. See how there's a star next to the drops? One, that's because it's inaccurate because all dropper bottles are different. And that's based on 20 drops per milliliter. But I'm not exactly sure on the nicotine bottle on what the drop ratio is. So again, if you're going to be using drops, you're going to want to make sure you refer to the Vape Wild chart if you're using Vape Wild nicotine or the manufacturer of the nicotine that you're using if it has a dropper bottle. And also, be careful when you're using your nicotine. Alright, so PG, VG, you get all the measurements in milliliters, grams, drops. And that's pretty much how you use the basic functions of the calculator. Also, once you're done making the mix, you're going to want to hit the top right button. It kind of looks like an old floppy disk or something. That's what I'm kind of getting from it. Click that, and that will save the recipe. So, one more thing I want to show you, and that's the recipe list. If you go into the recipe list, this is where all your recipes are stored. So, you can, like, check on your recipes, say you want to make something else, or you want to check on when you made it, or what's in it. Uh, like, this is, this is Davidian Fruit Loops. This is another guy on the Vape Wild uh, DIY page. He tried his Fruit Loops. Here's his recipe right here. Obviously, you shared it with everybody, so it's not private. But, it's right here. I made it, and this is all the ingredients in the milliliters, grams, drops, and percentages. Also, it has steep timers where you can uh, you can set in the settings how long you want your steep to be. Start a steep timer, and it will notify you when it's done steeping. So that's a very cool feature. But guys, that is pretty much it. That will show you pretty much how to use any, uh, any kind of e-liquid calculator you're going to need to know how to use. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please like and subscribe to the uh, channel if you haven't already. You guys have yourselves a great day.